Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor video for you today and this, today we are showing off Dol Guldur. This is uh, a few days like before they did any updates, I've had this video like done and ready uh, to go. So we're just going to have a look at uh, some of the Dol Guldur units. We have, uh, I think they've added a new one, which is the only one they've added, which is Phantoms, which is a new one they've added, but... Uh, I had this I, I had this video done a long time ago, so we'll just get straight into it anyway. Um, but yeah, so we're just going up against like some random AI faction. Uh, just giving an excuse to look at uh, Dolgal Door, really. So we'll uh, do just that while uh, everyone's getting into position. So we first we've got the main infantry line here, which is probably the unit that most people will use in online battles, which is the uh, Guldor blades. These guys look excellent, straight out of the Hobbit, to be honest. And uh, yeah, they just look excellent. Well, really well done. And they do look like a really tough opponent. Finally, something that the evil factions can use, which will actually be pretty tough and like hardy. And uh, then we'll look at this unit over here, which is the uh, the Wraiths. This unit I really like because it almost fights the death. Um, just wait until it gets kind of out of the shadows, really. Actually, we'll look at this one over here. This one's not really in the shadows. But yeah, these guys look excellent. These... Yeah, they fight almost to the death. They are basically dead men. So, why would dead men retreat and stuff like that? So, yeah, they'll fight to death. They're a small unit. There are 60 men in the unit. They look excellent as well. Uh, and, yeah, I think the Phantoms are like another sort of similar unit to the Wraiths. I could be wrong. Developers can correct me. Um, and then what we've got over here, then? We've got uh, Goldor uh, Glaives, which is like the uh, lower tier. Well... Not lower tier, but more uh, the cheaper variant of Shock Infantry. These guys look excellent as well. With a big, like, almost... I was... Well, I don't even know. Like, it's like a scythe almost, that, like, sort of blade. Kind of reminds me of that sort of thing. It's kind of... That's pretty cool. And then uh, we've got another unit over here, which is another... Another uh, Shock Infantry unit. This is the Champions of uh, Dol Guldur. These guys got, like, the, uh, the skulls on the back of their... Uh, on their backs and stuff like that. They look awesome. Yeah, this is the more expensive one. This is also what the general unit will be made out of uh, at the moment. And these guys. Look at that officer. It's like a, with a centurion almost like sort of helmet on. That looks really good. And then we've got the Goldor Pikes. Uh, so yes, a good nice pike uh, unit for the uh, enemy factions to be using. Again, well armoured up. Look like they're going to take a lot of a beating to get through. That armour. Just that helmet as well looks amazing. Amazing, really well done by the uh, developers. We've also got Merkwood tracks over here, so like a, a, jet, a uh, arch unit. Um, they, yeah, they look like a bit like goblins, almost like little goblin men. I um, guess what this is kind of going for, and they look really cool. A bit like Athelian Rangers as well, as bit as well with like their hoods. Um, but yeah, they look really cool. And then we've got uh, some Merkwood Rangers over here, which I think is the only other unit that I've not put in. That obviously, apart from uh, the Phantoms, which I believe are now a thing. Uh, but yeah, they also look very cool. Again, a bit like, uh, Athelian Rangers, but just with the Javi and I like the eye on, like, the shield looks amazing. All nice little details like that. It's what makes, uh, what makes these mods. But anyway, I had, like, a, uh, flanking force going around. We'll put it to normal speed. I guess we'll have the battle anyway. And see how these guys do against Dale. Uh, so pretty, I'd say pretty average, uh, faction. Got some pretty elite units of their own. Um, let's just send this flanking force around. Uh, we'll put it to, like, there. That should do. No harm in putting it there. We'll have this, uh, we better send up the rest of the army up this way. And we'll see whether we can uh, engage Dale. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some more infantry. Oh yeah, these are uh, more of the Dol Guldur blades. Or Guldur blades, I should say. And then we'll put, send up the rest of the archers up this way, I guess. Yeah, already under fire, no surprise. They've got some elite bardings, and I'm pretty sure they've got some uh, Ravanian rangers or something like that as well. These guys can't form shield wall like uh, some of the other factions, but so we're just going to go straight in. See whether these guys have uh, skirmish mode on. If they do, that's good for them. If they don't, well, that's a shame. Wraith's going to help help the line, thicken the line with their uh, elite. Well, it's not even elite necessarily. It's just that they won't die. Well, they're already dead, so why would they retreat? I guess that's what the idea is, isn't it? They're already taking a lot of losses, these guys. Yeah, there you go. There are the Rangers of Ravanian. Peering out of the gloom. And they've got uh, Lake Town Guards in the front line. These guys, I'm pretty sure, have got a buff in the uh, recent update. So these guys could actually be a bit of a... 
a struggle to get through. Actually, I don't really want to send in too many troops there. Let's send the race around here. Lake Town in there. They're not going to flank. I shall, uh, I shall flank. Wraiths can carry on up. Uh, where's the rest of that flanking force? It's around there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's around here somewhere. You can get up. Send more of the uh, troops in. I don't know how good they're going to do against uh, Dale. We did a Battle of the Five Armies sort of style thing. And they did okay to these guys. Um, I, but it did help, obviously, like... He's got, they were against elves and dwarves and stuff like that, so we'll have to see how they can do. Uh, I'm hoping this flanking force can come around and really help. Those archers as well, obviously, will be a massive help. Let's get everything up here. And the pikes. Let's have a look at these guys in action. Not really going to focus too much on the battle, just looking at how it is. Lake Town guards, I mean, yeah, Lake Town uh, guards are really good against these guys. Nice bright blue against the dark black. I always thought these guys used to be a halberdier unit, but they're actually a shock infantry unit. Or have they changed that? They may have done. I always remember them as the halberdiers. But maybe not. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's try and stick them through there. Stick them through that little gap in the line there. Javis, I guess, can fire in there. And then you can go through there. I mean, yeah, the AIs, like, put everything into, like, this front line here. Can they get through there? Let's see. They're going to try. No. Stuck. Big shame. Right. Keep on moving. Going a long way around for no real reason. But it's worth it. We'll see what happens. Um, let's end up the pikes. Oh, the cavalry's got through. Interesting. Might want to put that. Oh, no. The cavalry's breaking already as well. Um, yeah, we'll have you there. Uh, let's, I guess, move our general back. Probably shouldn't be that close to enemy lines. Archers can shoot there. Uh, wraiths, you can flank on around here. I didn't even realize that. Move along. Let's see these guys in combat. Champions of Dol Guldur going in straight into the front lines. That'll be very excellent. Excellent. Uh, the cavalry's, yeah, kind of breaking. Uh... The Wraiths, can they turn around, please? Get a move on. Um, yeah, we're going to take a big risk here. We're going to try and flank these guys. So again, let's watch this. Oh! Yeah, those shipmen hadn't, didn't know it was coming for them. Yeah, I have to see how good they are. In, uh, they might be pretty prone to uh, arch fire. I have a feeling. But we'll try again the same with these uh, shocking for troops. And the pikes, and they're now getting into the front line. That hopefully will turn the, t the tide of battle. Flanks on these guys. Yeah, these units are going to be absolutely knackered, but I don't even care. It was worth it in my eyes. Going to move on. Um, yeah, start firing more stuff back here. Ah, uh, the cavalry's coming up again. Uh, okay, right. So we're going to have to... I guess we can go into these guys, but it's going to be painful either way. Yeah, that cavalry did not uh, did not appreciate being charged, but hey, uh, we'll get these. We'll mop up these cavalry, I guess, with the uh, shock infantry. Where are the pikes? This is probably far too much for one unit of cavalry, but if we can get it off the battlefield, then that's great. Uh, can you do frenzy? No, you can't. Oh, they can also form a hedgehog formation. These uh. These ones, they're again a bit more of a defensive sort of a shocking unit. I really like that. I'm liking that they've put the developers putting more of those units in. Keep it up with them. I'm all for them. Uh, the cavalry's still... Yeah, it's kind of like... Let's get these pikes around. We don't need them here. Uh, and then let's move on. I don't really want to hold up on these cav. If we can then surround this main army, then the cav's not even going to be an issue. So just carry on as you are. We might need to send our general in. He's actually getting focused down by these bardings, though. Uh, right, you go in here. You might as well fight these guys. I don't know where the cavalry's actually going. Uh, keep moving, pikes. There we go. Just keep up with the old push. Uh... 
Right, form hedgehog formation. See if these guys will. Uh... Ah, see they avoided. Yeah, it's getting pretty smart or smarter. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going to be that smart. It's not going to be that smart at all. See these guys in hedgehog formation. Ah, uh, now counter charge. And we should chop these guys up quite nicely. I mean, the source of this map, by the way, is a uh, Sigillian Valley. It's a new map, uh, a bit broken over there. We won't, we won't look at that, but it looks really cool. Um, could definitely be a really nice map for a, certainly a two v two. Could have like one ar two armies fighting over here, uh, some more fighting in this pass. Uh, yeah, this looks really good. Um, again, really well done by the developers. Some really nice maps coming along here. Um, yeah, that shocking just doesn't need to be there anymore. Um, carry on through there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I'm just ordering my troops to do stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I'm eager to show you more of these guys in action. They look so good. Um, archers just fire over here as well. I don't really care about these guys. Surround them. And also fight them. I should know. Shoot. Get them. I mean, yeah, Dale looks... I mean, Dale looks amazing as always. In this light as well. They're looking gorgeous. And then the pikes are coming in now. These wraiths will hold for a long time against these against the general. They won't break at all, like I've said. I'm really glad that they've implemented that. Like, yeah, who cares if we're dead or what? We're not going to break. Well, you wouldn't care if you're dead, I guess. You'd be like, yeah, I'm happy just to carry on fighting. But we've actually broken through this line now. Mainly, I think, because of the pikes. Maybe the general as well? I don't know. But let's see the general in action. Let's see if we can get some kills. Oh, yes. They're, like, charging into this line of shipment. And they're chopping them up. And, yeah, this unit of shipment won't hold for long. And there you go. I think they're broken already. Yeah, wow. Just like that. Broken. Now those daily spear guards are going to be an issue. The battle is turning in our favor. Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Hold, sword guards. Oh, that guy's... Oh, that poor orc. He's not going to make it back to Dol Guldur. While I say orc lives don't usually matter, these ones do, because they're actually kind of trained. These are Gundabad orcs, really, aren't they? It's like the whole idea of where Dol Guldur gets his uh, orc armies from. Go in, boys. Mess these guys up. Final, send the final troops in. I love that they charge with like their little sh shields out, like just again, like just like in the movies. Oh, it's like that's how they based it, Pope. That's what they were going for, I guess. Those ill-fated. Um. Hobbit films, really. They didn't go down very well, did they? No one was a fan of them. Yeah, they're just like that. The general's broken. I pop a war cry and he uh, breaks with the rear charge. So I think that's kind of it. That's all they've got left. They've got some units breaking over here. Um, these guys might return. Let's kind of watch from their... Pers oh my gosh, let's just watch. Like, imagine being in this sea of orcs. Move forward. Yes, there we go. We're now can Oh, look at this. The shimmer of the water as well. Excellent. But yeah, I think um, Dol Guldur is definitely... It's definitely got his weaknesses. It's got no cavalry. It's got poor archers. Um, it's very heavy infantry strong. So if you're going to play with them when the update does come out, which I do believe it's soon, um, just like... You've got to rush as infantry. You've got to have an infantry rush. You've got to go for that. You've got some pretty good pikes. Um, but yeah, you couldn't rely on playing defensive with this faction. You've not got good range, uh, but and you've got no cav either. So, I mean, being offensive has its limits as well. But I I mean, I had a bit of struggling. Like, you can see some of the units got really beaten up by the... Uh, some of the units really got beaten up by the archers as I was rudely interrupted by the man talking over the top. But uh, in the end of the day, we overwhelmed most of Dale's, like, sword infantry and stuff like that. And that's just kind of, like, 
what will happen, I I guess, like, you come into combat, like, we'll quickly look at the piles of dead, it's not masses, like, I think certainly the pikes, I think I was actually probably gonna lose until those pikes arrived, I know I didn't give Dale any pikes, and they do have pikes, but I gave them some other advantages, like archers, for instance, and cavalry, but, uh, it's also the AI, so, they would have found a way to ruin it, um, but yeah, so we'll end the battle there, and we'll have a quick look at the end results, um, end the battle, see what happened, um, Looks like it's champions of Dolgo 194, one probably the best I got. Uh, my rates, I'm interested to see how much. They didn't actually do too well. Um, I guess they didn't get into much fighting. Uh, they were kind of on the fringe of the battle, but. And they're also a smaller unit, so it's harder for them to get kills. Dolgo uh, or Goldo uh, Blades, I'll definitely be calling that Dolgo Blades the entire time I play with them, but they got 145 kills. Uh, Goldo Blades are actually here getting 165, so even better. But yeah, no, they all seem to do pretty well, and obviously Dale just kind of got outmatched. The carry did probably the best, and just routing stuff. Actually, and uh, Lake Town Guards did pretty well on in that initial charge. But yeah, so that was a quick show off of Dol Um I hope you guys enjoy, and looking forward to uh, seeing them on the battlefield. I've just realised my general got 278. That's even better than before anyone else. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me just quickly showing them off. It's uh, just a quick little video that I thought I'd do for you today. Um, I'll hopefully show you uh, the Phantoms off when they arrive. Um, or when I can have a look at them. Uh, but yeah, so in, if you've enjoyed, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.